Good morning. Today, uh, NATO defense ministers will discuss how we can keep uh, NATO capable, making sure we have the capabilities we need to deal with the challenges we face. We will look at ways to uh, address key capability shortfalls and to redress some of the imbalances uh, within the alliance. In particular, uh, we will have our first ministerial discussion dedicated to cyber defense. NATO already protects uh, the networks which uh, we own and operate, and we will continue to do so. But I believe we can do more to assist individual allies if they come under attack. That would show NATO solidarity, and we will discuss that today. Tomorrow, we will meet with all 50 members of the ISAF coalition and with uh, the Afghan Defense Minister to discuss progress in Afghanistan. Soon, Afghans will take the lead for security across the country. And at the end of next year, our combat mission will be completed. We are preparing a new and different NATO-led mission to train, advise, and assist Afghan forces after 2014. I expect that at this meeting, we will take an important step forward by endorsing um, the concept of our operations. This will guide our military planners as they finalize preparations in the course of the coming months. Finally, uh, let me turn to Libya. Uh, last week, the Libyan government requested NATO's advice in the security field. We have already moved fast to respond. Allies yesterday decided to send an expert level delegation to engage on the details of the request. The delegation will identify the areas in which NATO could add value. And we are intent on coordinating closely with other national and international efforts. I expect the team to report back by the end of June so we can decide on the way ahead. I believe that this would be a fitting way to continue our cooperation with Libya after we successfully uh, took action to protect the Libyan people two years ago. And with that, I'm ready to take a couple of questions. And we will only have time indeed for just a couple of questions. We'll start with Europa Press down here. Thank you so much, Secretary General, um, on Libya. Uh, so when is the expert team going there? And uh, if we put together a training mission for the Libyan forces, can you guarantee that there will be no deployment on the ground there and that the training would be done in NATO countries or in NATO centers? Thank you. Um, the expert team will uh, go to Libya as soon as, as possible. The, de the decision has been made. Um, so they will go, go as soon as, as possible um, and together with the Libyans identify uh, the areas uh, in which um, the Libyans uh, think they need advice and areas where we do believe that we can add uh, value. Um, I think three principles will, will guide uh, our efforts. Firstly, to ensure a strong Libyan ownership. Um, secondly, that our task will be to provide um, advice uh, in areas where we do have particular expertise, and as you know, we, we do have inter, uh, a lot of expertise within um, uh, building uh, security uh, institutions. Um, and thirdly, let me stress, this is not about deploying troops uh, to uh, Libya. Uh, if we are to engage in training activities, such activities could take place outside uh, Libya. And uh, the second question over there, Afghan News Agency. 
thank you very much. Farida Nekzot uh, from Wacht News Agency, Afghanistan. Um, will this uh, defense ministerial meeting provide more details on the number of uh, troops that will be included in the NATO late post-2014 mission? Um, I, I wouldn't expect this meeting to, to uh, make a decision, uh, decisions on uh, the exact uh, number of troops and trainers uh, after 2014. We will um, adopt what we call a concept of operations, um, and a concept means uh, broad guidelines for how uh, we will shape uh, the future uh, resolute support uh, mission from 2015. Um, certain elements are clear. It will be a very different mission. It will be a non-combat mission. Um, the number of troops and trainers will be significantly lower than in the current uh, ISAF uh, mission. And um, uh, it's also our intention to ensure a regional footprint, that is, uh, a number uh, of uh, region, uh, regional training uh, centers. So within this framework, our military planners will continue preparations of this uh, mission, and then at a later stage, uh, we will make decisions uh, on the exact number. Thank you very much. That's all we have time for, but the Secretary General will be back at around 18.30 with a press conference. Thank you.